Nice. 30 yards right. Hi, I'm Paul, and this is The Golf Show. Hey everyone, I'm Paul Hemling, welcome to The Golf Show. On the show this week, I'm going to review the FlightScope X3 launch monitor. Now, you might not have heard of FlightScope. I'm sure you've heard of TrackMan or GC Quad. Well, FlightScope is the new kid on the block for me, and I want to test it out. So I'm down here at Crossland Heath Golf Club with former European Tour player and coach Chris Hansen. We're going to have a look at his FlightScope, see what it can do. And we might have a little challenge as well, me against a European Tour player. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but it's going to be fun. OK, hope you enjoy this episode, guys. That's more than enough for me. Let's get on with the golf show. Okay, so I'm here at Crossland Heath with Chris. Hi Chris, how's it going? Good mate, good to see you again Paul. Good to see you, Happy New Year. Yes, it's, uh, it's been a while, but yeah, we're, we're looking forward to a golf season ahead and hopefully it's, uh, everyone gets to play a bit more golf this year. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, thanks for having us on. I'm really interested in this little box here. So you've got a new toy for Christmas. Yeah, San Santa was kind to me. Um, I got it just a little bit before Christmas, but um, it's, it's a great addition um, to me coaching and also for my own practice as well. Yeah. So this is the Flight Scope X3. Um, I know you've used TrackMan before when you're on tour, and you've also coached with the GC Quad. Yeah. What are the differences you're seeing, Chris? Yeah, you know, I used I had TrackMan for, for three, maybe four years when I was on tour, and for, for the value for money compared to TrackMan, it's an absolute no-brainer yep. to go flight scope. You know, it, it does everything what TrackMan's done for me before. Um, it's just a fantastic piece of kit. Like we'll, we'll go through some settings and, and some some of the uh, the options you can do to work through it. Yeah. But the the, the team support behind it and speaking with the guys at FlightScope and, and Mia Sports Technology have been absolutely brilliant. So, so yeah, FlightScope, TrackMan, I, I honestly don't see why people would go TrackMan. Um, so it's significantly more, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. thousands more. Yeah. I'd say a, a user of, of GC Quad for quite a bit and I think Quad's a fantastic piece of kit. The, some, some, some big differences there with Quad to, to FlightScope. Obviously FlightScope, TrackMan, log, uh, track the ball from start to finish. Yep. Um, and use sort of radar, whereas Quad sits directly next to the ball and takes thousands and thousands of pictures at impact of, of ball spin and, and reads it there. So Quad's fantastic, it's very portable, you can put it in a bunker, yeah. you can take it out on the golf course really easy and it's fantastic for, for indoor use, especially when you've not got much, yeah. much room, where, where this maybe suffers a little bit there. Um, but no, a great piece of kit, it's been a, a fantastic addition to coaching. Obviously film people's swings, we obviously watch the, the ball flight yep. directly in front of us. And we'd, we'd maybe get a, a dozen shots on, um, so we'd get a nice average of what's going on. But then I think for someone to see, see it on camera, um, yep. where the swing is heading, which direction is it going, yep. and then does it match up to the numbers? And then for someone to learn, it's, it's a lot easier sometimes. Some people, some people learn visually, some yeah. people learn with sort of feel, or some yeah. people learn seeing numbers. So if you've got a bit of everything, yeah. um, and then you can tailor it to, the, to the, the, the student in front of you, then it's, it's just a... It's so, just you could, a so you could use this for coaching a kid, or coaching yeah, a really absolutely. elite player on the yeah. Euro Pro or Challenge Tour. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And you can use this for long game, short game, yeah. Putting, yep, and you can do some skills as well. Yeah, flight scope's great. It's got numerous apps, uh, a coaching side to it, where yep. you, can, you can film swings in there and import those into the yep. into the shots. Um, it's got a short game, and it's also got uh, virtual golf as well, yep. so you can play simulated golf as well. Fantastic, great. Well, should we hit some balls and see what yeah, you can do? Yeah, let's go for okay. it. We'll, we'll talk through my swing and, and see uh, see what we can change. Let's do it. Okay, so I've allowed Chris all of two shots to warm up. We're going straight into this today, going in cold, buddy. So what club have you got there? Um, I've got 7-9. Seven 7-9, nine. Seven nine, okay. Decent strikes. Yep. These are kind of some key, yep. some key things I generally look at with yep. some people. Um, angle attack is very interesting. Yep. You get a lot of people are quite, quite shallow, quite... Yep. You look at this. So that, that's the angle the club's coming into the ball. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So as it's coming into the ground, so you, you, you tend to see this a lot with a seven nine round zero, yep. round maybe minus one. Yeah. Um, I, I quite like that as a number for yep. seven nine minus five. But I work hard to try and feel like I'm trying to fade the golf ball. Okay. Um, so I'll give it a go. See okay. if we can see if we can make a little change there. Okay. So yeah, nice and straight. Yeah. It looks like it's trying to fade a little bit. So yeah. So a path. 
yep. gives me a straight ball fight, which is yep. what we saw. Speed's gone up a little bit. Yep. Uh, path has gone a little bit left. That's a nice feeling for me to swing yep. a little bit left and manage to keep face square to yep. that path. So, as a golf shot, really, really happy yep. with that. So okay. it was interesting there because you said before you hit that ball, you're going to try and make the change to get that that adjustment. Yeah. Obviously, you're a very experienced player, Chris, and you know you're going to know probably where a ball's going to go as soon as it comes off your club face, which a lot of us amateurs won't. Yeah. Would you have known to have made all those changes from hitting that first shot, which went a little bit left? Yeah. Without that, I've had a, a bit of a guess that. Yep. It's because I know my tendencies. Um, but what I what I like to talk about, people always said to me, "Oh, trap man flights go super technical. You, yeah. You're stripping away the feel and yeah. the, the natural side of golf. And for me, it, it isn't. It's feel because yeah. like if, if I hit a shot and I get that left ball flight and I kind of know it's yeah. from a bit inside and shut, and then I see the numbers and it says, "Yeah, you were three degrees inside and path," like. All I'm doing now is reacting with feel yep. to make that change. So yep. I know if I've got a little bit inside and shut, I've just got to feel like I'm, I'm feel like I'm swinging a bit more yep. out and trying to hold the face. So and, it's feel. And it's interesting because I, I worry about amateurs practicing the wrong things. I've done it myself and I probably still do it sometimes and ingraining that fault. Now yep. it's, it's not realistic that most people are going to go and spend probably £15,000 on one of these devices. But if they're being coached by somebody who uses this, yeah, you know they can know what they need to do in their practice just that little bit more, can't they? Yeah, I don't think people need to spend a lot yeah. of money on them, but you've got access to yeah. them. You can pay fifty pounds to have a lesson yeah. with the coach or to rent one for an hour. Yep. Yeah. Um, you can get the data yourself, then, can't you? A coach can help you achieve the feelings you're yeah. trying to get to match up to the numbers, and you can go away and work on it and, and come in and, and check you can come back and check, check, on, it, check yeah. it on the, against yeah, the data, exactly. can't you? Okay, let's see go again. More. Right, okay, so let's let's play around with it now. Yeah. I'm going to try and hit. A high draw. Okay. All right. So what do we need to see? We need path to go right yep. inside. I need face to go left and be quite short. Yep. Uh, and to hit it high, I'm going to go ball yep. forward a little bit. So okay. let's 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 give it let's give it a go. In fact, let me just quickly check. I'm just going to check on that last shot there, which I would say was a normal shot. It went a hundred feet in the air. Okay. Okay. So let's try and go path inside, face closed, and get it over a hundred feet. All right. Okay. Here it goes. So ball forward, big inside feeling, close the face, high draw. It's certainly it's high. A, and it's certainly drawing. Wow. Yeah, maybe started a bit too straight. Okay. But path went fourth inside, yep. club face was shut five, yep. and it went 130 feet. So yep. I achieved that there. Yep. So, so for me, yep. it is feel, and that's just yep. backing up my yep. Intent, what I'm trying to do, I felt like I'm doing it, and it tells me I yep. have to do it. I know ball flight does tell me that as yep. well, but it's just another way of yep. confirming it. Yep. Nice big high fade. Let's have a look at the numbers. Got path to move two degrees to the left. Face was five degrees open. And uh, angle of attack went down, which is something I would tend to see. Spin active to the right and hit a fade. So yeah, pretty, pretty successful yeah, shot there. We're going to have a wedge challenge now. We're going to hit six shots each. So it's me against Chris. Yep. Let's see how we get on. We've got a target at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 yards, and we're just going to measure how far the ball misses that carry, load, carry spot on each shot. Um, so we're going to have six shots, we'll have a total um, combined yardage for those six shots, and we'll see who the winner is. Here goes. Okay. Oh, Ooh, that might have hit it, Paul. I think that hit it. I think that was zero. Did you get any there bonus, we go. bonus points? Decent start. So what we're going to do, yeah, we're going to Work out the difference in yardage between us each shot and uh, add it up as we go along. Oh. Yeah, one yard short, so. Point, so point 0.6 yards short, but no, okay, no, we're, we're rounding it to down. One. We're not rounding it up. We go by the first number. Okay, so okay. Xtor Pro takes a one yard lead. All right, 20 yards. Ooh, little short. One yard short. Okay. PCH, bounce back. <sighs> oh, three long. Oh dear. Okay, so three yard difference yep. total. Okay. Very long. 
six long. No. Whoa. Here we go. Welcome, zero zero of this. Zero this. We're uh, you're back in the game. Oh, a bit long. Seven. Seven. Long. Yeah. So. Oh no, I had the chance then. So that takes me four ahead. Four ahead. Okay, forty yards. Like it, like it. Oh, he's oh, hit it. Oh, he's hit it again. It's actually on the red. I give it forty-one. So I'm well, it hit it. it hit it though, didn't it? Yeah, so I think I'm gonna give you that. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's really quite good. <laughs> The last shot just got me cross. <laughs> Don't make a tour pro angry. One, two, three, four, come on. Well, this looks pretty good. A little bit long, I think. Yeah, 42, so only one difference there. So what's that, five, maybe five? About, about five, yeah. Five, five lead. Two to go. Okay, still in the game here, Paul. We're playing 10 pound yard difference, was it? Okay, 50 yards. Oh, to say that, nah, I don't want to do it. Oh, a bit it's short. Only just short, and it's finished right next to it. Five short. Okay, you've got a chance. It's slightly strange doing it all on carry distance. You know, when you practice your chipping mm. at home, you're trying to get it next to the flag, so you are yeah, allowed a bit short, so I've just got to... But maybe that's where people's get... attention needs to yeah, be. Yeah, I mean, we... how much you said it's short, don't we? Maybe it's a bit the... more visualisation of where you're trying to land it. Yeah. Three shorts. Oh, three. So, claw two back on me there, I think. Okay. Now, now the difference. What was it before? Was it five? Five, so maybe three. Three distance, In the bit game, of pressure yeah. now. In the game. Game on. 60 yard to finish. Here we go, all right. That takes my favorite number. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Got oh, a chance. My word, that's excellent. 58. Don't think I can beat you. I've got to hit it to I get within one. I've just saved myself there, haven't I? Just in case you zero me. <laughs> right, that's going to happen. <laughs> Come on, believe. Every squirrel, flying squirrel. Not bad, is it? Oh, and there is a squirrel. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> 63. Good oh, effort, mate. Decent, that. Cheers, decent. Chris. Well awesome. done. So I was three, so what did I get? I had 60. So you were about seven, eight ahead? Yeah, Very so good. I think it's nice. It gives you a little bit of a challenge. Great challenge, that. Can see what I need to work on. Great to compare yourself against a really good player as well. So that's really interesting that you're not just doing it visually, you've got the data to back it up. And, and we've, we've still got a year till the seniors tour, so there's no panic yet. Just a year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it for this week. What did I think of the Flightscope X3? Well, I think you can tell from the episode, I'm a fan. I thought it was really simple to use. The graphics are super clear. Apparently they keep doing software updates, more firmware updates as well. So you're getting all that new stuff, that new functionality added in all the time. Very simple to use. You can use it indoors, you can use it outdoors as well. Um, great for coaching. Why not book a lesson with a coach that uses something like this and see how it can improve your game? But I certainly think this is onto a winner and it's quite a lot cheaper than the Trackman. So I think you're gonna hear a lot more about the Flightscope X3. Okay guys, that's all for this week. I'll see you next time on the Golf Show. I hope you enjoyed the episode of The Golf Show. To watch another, click here. To subscribe, click here.